Never Lose Shine Out Word Podcast coming your way. Episode 384 coming your way. We're doing a compound episode. Steve Smee here in the Rickster. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Steve? What's up, guys? How's everybody doing out there? Doing, doing good, man. Doing good. So this time, guys, we're going to talk about underground labs, some brands that are out there, underground brands that are out there. They've been a long, around a long time. And Rick, um, tell us a little bit about the past 20 years, the way these underground uh, brands and labs have come, a, come around and become almost equal, you know, pretty much equal or exceeded these pharmaceutical stuff that guys used to buy 20, 30 years ago and overpay for. Yeah, so when I first got started in steroids, early 2000s, uh, you you guys used to argue and fight on the forums over which was better, veterinarian grade or human grade steroids. Some guys would claim that uh, Mexican veterinarian grade steroids were dirtier than than the high value, high level uh, human grade steroids being made in the European market and the pharmaceutical market. Even in the Mexican market, there were some good pharmaceutical steroids that were being manufactured and guys would argue about this go back and forth and around the middle 2000s is when we saw a uh, laps like uh, animal power quality vet bring out some really good steroids and some very high dosing um, there was a lab around that time called tokyo lab out of mexico which to this day we don't know if it was just an underground lab masquerading as an approved outfit or if they actually had their licensing and were licensed to produce that we don't know yet but they were like the first ones to do deca and 400 milligrams per cc concentrations and and really just do some of those really high concentration steroids and it's all mid- middle 2000s still no underground labs and then towards the end of the 2000s around 2007, 8, 9, 10, around that area. It's when you started to get the first, first real kind of popular underground labs. And you roll that up until about 2010, 2011, 2012. And then the field is nothing but underground labs. Uh, It's very hard to find human great steroids anywhere. It's very hard to get the amps unless you leave the country. Packages are, are getting seized at a higher level around 2010, 11, 12, around 2011, 12, 13 is when you pretty much, I would say uh, four out of, I would say three out of every four bottles of steroids being sold were underground lab steroids by then. The the argument between veterinarian grade or human grade, it's all about gone. Guys are arguing labs and, and which lab is, is good and not. And, Pretty much now we're in 2021, and that's where we're at. It's just all underground labs. Some guys have a a script from a TRT clinic, and they go to clinic, and they get their steroids that way. Some guys uh, are in and out of the country and can get some stuff here and there. But for the most part, I'd say nowadays, nine out of every 10 bottles of steroid purchase are underground labs. The scene development over the last 20 years of these uh, of these underground labs that are just catering to to bodybuilders. So, do you want to start us off, Rick, with naming one? Uh, yeah, Janine, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, basically, uh, the first underground lab, uh, which is, I guess you could call it, th- this lab is rumored to actually have licensing in Europe somewhere. I'd have to look into it. Uh, as of this podcast, I haven't really investigated it but there's a good lab called geniza pharmaceuticals so geniza pharmaceuticals is a great laboratory it's been out there for ages it, it kind of came around around the same time that british dragon was making its exit was going away geniza pharmaceuticals came out and geniza actually they, they've got a pretty damn good product line they actually do a very very good job of catering all of their products to the steroid user, the hardcore user. Um, They use small sachets like bags to ship their pills, their their tablets. And that's just so much easier to send sachets and bags uh, across the way when you are just 
um, when, when you're sending stuff uh, across borders and stuff, uh, the bags are just so much better to go to go in an envelopes. They also sell some t- some testosterone mixes. They have a product called GP uh, Andromix, which is stands for Gen- Genesa Pharma Andromix, and that one is testosterone propionate, trembolone acetate, and drostolone propionate. So you get a uh, Mastron trend and test in the same in the same blend, which I'm not a fan of buying blends from underground labs, but when you have a really good reputable one like Geniza, uh, you could probably bank on it being a good, good product and not, not have a lot to, uh, to worry about. They do, they do both tremble and acetate, tremble and inactate, which if you're an underground lab, I'd like to see you have ester choices. You know, if you, if you have tremble and acetate, you should have an inactate for me. If you have, uh, tremble on an acetate. You should have tremble on acetate for me. You know, it's 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 just very important to me to actually see. Also, um, for example, they also have Mastron in both uh, in both an acetate and propionate presentations. So you get drostolone an acetate and drostolone propionate. Uh, they're it's a very very good brand. Been around for ages. Uh, what I like about a brand like Geniza is that since they've been around so long. The, the standardize their packaging. So once you get some Geniza in your hands, you know if it's legit or not by the packaging. And you can also compare lot numbers on their website. Something you can't do with, with every other lab out there. You know, they're one of these European labs that uh, functions in a way where they're, they're almost uh, up to standard as far as what regulation would, would want them to have. They make all their stuff in real legitimate pharmacies, but they may be not license to be distributed across the world so uh I like Janice, i think it's good what, what do you think do you, do you know any any good ones there steve yeah next one i want to talk about is euro pharmacies it's been around many many years and these guys they have everything right uh, they have orals they have injectables really just from a to z uh they have different anabolic steroids they also have some things like aromacin, arimidex, these ancillaries that you need on cycle. So really you can be covered on cycle PCT and your ancillaries during cycle as well. So for your PCT, they have the Clomid, they have the Novadex, and on cycle, they have the AIs. So really they have you covered. So you could really just get your pharmacies and you'd be covered whether you wanna run injectables, orals, they have everything. Different testosterones, they have the sipinate, the enthate, the propionate, the sustanon. They have all the esters for testosterone. They have all the esters for tren. They have the tren hex, tren e, tren ace. They have the masteron propionate, they have the masteron enthate, they have the primobolin, they have the orals, the anovars, the T bowls, the D bowls, the anadrols. I mean, from top to bottom, they don't have certain steroids that are really really hard to find but they have the majority of the most popular steroids so really you're covered if you want to use them so you won't have any problems finding anything they might not have something like a rare steroid they might not have like bolden on you know uh different ester of bolden on but they'll have the regular to equipoise the long ester of eq they'll have that obviously they may not have the short ester for example they may not have um, a certain suspension out there but they have the winstrol both an oral and in injectable or a liquid form so you know they, they have you covered from a to z and that's the cool thing about them they've been around a while and they're very consistent you know um, i've used them before they were just as good five years ago as they are today. So they've been really reliable and consistent. And a lot of sources carry the UR Pharmacies brand for that reason, because they trust them to provide good quality gear. What's the next one, Rick? I just want to throw a word in about Euro Pharmacy. Euro Pharma makes some pretty uh, darn interesting products that I think are are pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, for example, they make a Sustanon 500 mix, which basically contains a total of 500 mix of a Sustanon mix, which is testosterone propionate, phenopropionate, 
isocaparate and the canoate. It's got the four esters, and but it's a uh, 500 milligrams per cc instead of 250. Also, they have some some pretty nice uh, mixes. Uh, they've got a testosterone and that they 200 mix with EQ 200 mix. So that's 400 per cc. That's nice dense. Uh, um, nice dense concentration of products so you don't have to inject a ton of volume. Also, they have a testosterone propionate and trembolone acetate, 50-50 mix. So it's a uh, 50 milligrams of, of test prop and 50 milligrams of Tran-A. Also, they have a testosterone enathate 250 milligram mix with trembolone enathate 150 mix. And one thing I kind of enjoy about one of these mixes when it comes from a good reputable pharmacy is the fact you save some money it's only one vial you get in a couple of different steroids and if it if it goes along with your stacker why not so just want to throw that out there about your pharma they, they they've gotten pretty good with the stacking all uh, right buddy so the what's next, the next one yeah the next lab that I, i'm just going to talk about real quickly is uh xt labs and uh xt labs just kind of caught my attention because of their marketing. They've actually XT Labs sponsors athletes on social and they've got some really hot big booty bitches just posting some pictures with the XT Lab shirts and logos on them. I mean, uh, um the packaging also on XT Labs I think is pr pretty cool, pretty risque. They use bottles for their for their steroids in th instead of uh just using uh sachets uh, like a lot of these uh, like a lot of these other underground labs do. Um, and they don't have a pretty huge mix. You know, they, they don't have a ton of of really uh, uh, mixes of, of different products and or different steroids together. Um, they've got a couple, but it's not really it's not really what their what their main forte is. They've got pretty much a standard high concentration one compound products is mainly what they are, what they're pretty well known for. And they're, they're one of these, uh, and I'll mention another one later on. They're one of these, of these steroid manufacturers that actually behaves and, and, and really manages their product line, almost like it was a supplement company, everything from the packaging to even some of the market, some of the way that they market their products really, really is a lot like you would see from a, a supplement company, XT Labs. And again, I, I really started notice these guys out there because of their marketing with some of these hot, hot females that they market on social and they actually uh, give them product to wear the t-shirts, wear uh, spandex like tights. It says, says XT Labs on them. I've got these girls taking all kinds of pictures. Um, they do have a mixed product. It's called Sustaplex 275. And it contains uh, 30 mg of prop, 75 mg of phenylpropionate, 70 mg of isocaparate, and 100 mg of the canoate, apparently, for uh, 275 mg of a testosterone blend. And this product uh, is called Sustaplex. Uh, it's kind of the only mix that I know that they make right now. Uh, they also have some kind of Trembolone mix, I believe, too. But testosterone mix is the only one they have. And yeah, XT Labs is a is a good little lab. I've been I've been keeping an eye on for a while. All right, guys. So the next one we're going to talk about on this list that we have is going to be called um, Alpha Pharma. And Alpha Pharma has been around quite a while as well. Uh, and the cool thing about Alpha Pharma is their products come really, really professional. Like that's what I like about them. They have basically amps and the amps, you don't even know the difference. Uh, you would think this is just straight from the pharmacy because usually with underground labs and sources and brands, they have vials of gear. But in this case, Alpha Pharma, they have both. They have both in vials and they have an AMS. So the AMS are really professional. They look a lot more professional. They look a lot more quality. They have orals. Again, like I mentioned earlier, they also have all your ancillaries. They have your Novadex. They have your Arimidex. They have your Aromacin. They have things like Clambutrol. They have all kinds of products across the board um 
they have Halo, really, really good Halo. They're one of the best for Halo. They have Masteron, all kinds of testosterones. They have different types of uh, Nandrolones, the DECA, Long Ester DECA, the, the uh, Nandrolone Phenylpropionate, which is a short version of Nandrolone, as you know, as DECA. They've got the EQ. They got, I mean, everything across the board. So these guys is another one that I like about them, Rick, is that you can just buy their brand and you can be covered. Whether you want to run an Anavar cycle, an Anadrol cycle, a test cycle, a trend cycle, an EQ cycle, a DECA cycle, you have all your an an ancillaries for on cycle and PCT all in one place. That's what I like about them. I mean, it's just limitless quality products they have literally 40 different products just from this one brand 40 different products so they have you covered from a to z again you know um you can be really really picky and be like oh they don't have this they don't have that but these are the these are the steroids and these are the ancillaries that guys use on cycle and pct so they don't have to get fancy they don't have to sell stuff that people don't even like. Um, you know, a lot of people, they might like to use something like Super Droll, for example. No, they don't. I don't see a Super Droll. They don't sell a Super Droll, apparently. Um, so that's not one that's sold by them. But you'd be hard pressed to find something that they don't have, Rick. So they have everything across the board. It's very, very impressive, all the uh, products they have. So that's what I like about them as well. Um, you know, just like Euro pharmacies, you know, um, just like Euro Pharma, what we talked, what I talked about earlier, these guys are the same way. Alpha Pharma, Euro Pharma, they both have so many products of everything you can imagine. Every ester, every steroid that you can possibly manage and every ancillary. So that's, that's what we want. We want to be flexible. We don't want to go to a source. The first time I ever bought steroids online, Rick, I went... I started shopping and this source like literally had half the things out of stock. I wanted to run a testosterone sipinate on my cycle and they didn't have that in stock. How do you not have that in stock? Like a good brand always has stuff in stock. They always have what the customers want. They're not going to sell products. These guys get it. Absolutely. Jump in there, Rick. It's a good lap for sure. Um, familiar with them as, as well i think it's a, it's a good it's a good 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 lab and um want me to move to the next one <clears throat> yeah man what do you got next um dragon pharma dragon pharma i really like dragon pharma now and this dragon pharma making the stereos that we're talking about today is a really nice lab in a lot of different ways uh the product quality seems to be pretty decent from what most people uh, report as far as dealing with uh, with Dragon Pharma. And also they have some really, really interesting products that not every other uh, pharmacy carries. For example, they carry Accutane. They also have Check Drops, which is really interesting. They do make uh, cutting mixes, you know, a couple of different cutting mixes, which are basically a good cutting mixes for, uh, uh, for, for, for lowering body fat, and, you know, steroids, Masteron, um, trend and test. They also make stimulant mixes like capsules that have clenbuterol, uh, Yehimbi, Lyothyronine. Thyron I mean, they've got different things going on, uh, different mixes. And uh, they also carry some steroids that aren't even all, all that popular, like methyl one test, Methyl one test for a long time was a was a pro hormone, and Dragon Pharma actually carries methyl one test as an oral. They carry oral trembolone, which is methyl trianolone, which is pretty uh is pretty harsh. It's, it's a very hard, very strong steroid. They carry Superdrol. Uh, they carry obviously the Sustanon uh, mix. They got trembolone mixes. They got Deca mixes. It's really a meatheads steroid brand they've got all the stuff they've got a lot of very cool interesting uh stuff that you would want and the pricing on their products seems to be fairly competitive for the kind 
of for the kind of offering offering that they have the products seem to be very very competitively priced and they have yeah man they have like i said they have everything they've even got a uh, a tri trembolone mix which contains trembolone and acetate trembolone hexa hexadrobenzyl carbonate which is the original parabolin and it'll have trembolone acetate so their tri trend mix has three different trembolones again can't say enough about uh dragon pharma good good outfit good place good steroid brand if you're getting legitimate dragon pharma good products that cater to our niche so this is good shit the next one we're talking about is pivotal labs now this one they're a smaller outfit than some of the ones we talked about already rick um you know they've got the main steroids they've got the eq they got the masteron they got the decas uh, short and long esters. They got the Anavar. They got the Winnie. They got the testosterones and and the trends. But they don't have much else other than that. Like you can't go to them and find your ancillaries, for example. So they're a lab that just specializes in steroids, and they don't have amps. They're all vials. So they have the orals in oral form, and they have the amps in amp form. Very very straightforward. Um, they don't have, they're, they're not expensive. They're one of the more cheaper ones, it seems as well. So you can buy, um, you know, a vial of testosterone for cheaper than it would cost you to go get your car washed. So a lot of guys like them. They're, because they're a smaller outfit, their gear is very, very well dosed and consistent. There isn't these, um, up and down of, that we see with some underground labs where a batch might not be dosed good and then a batch might be dosed too much. So, you know, they seem to be really like they specialize in their own trade. They don't try to mess around with the other stuff. So they stick to the main, main types of steroids. So that's Pivotal Labs and they've been around a while. You know, they've been around uh, at least a few years now. I, I can remember them at least five, six years ago. So they've been around at least that long. So you can you can check them out and see, you know, if you like that brand too. But they're, they're, they're a really consistent brand. A lot of guys like them, Rick. And they're really, it's cool about them is that they're, you know, they're, uh, the, they're domestic. So you don't have to order from overseas. So a lot of guys like them for that reason. So you can see them uh, definitely as a as a as a brand that you can trust for your cycle, but you know you may have to use another brand if you want to get your ancillaries. So they might not be, they're not a one stop place for for all your stuff. What's the next one, Rick? Uh, next one I'm going to talk about is Pharmacon. I just when I did my uh, Anavar cycle that I that I did uh, my little four to five week run, I use Pharmacon. Anavar. And what I really like about Pharmacon is I feel like they're they're fairly new to the game compared to some of the other, most of the other labs that I've mentioned, but they really brought, they really came around really fast, hard, and their, their approach is they have this very clean, very pharmaceutical look in line. They don't have a lot of the really crazy mixes the way let's say dragon pharma does uh they do have some mixes not not a bunch of them it's not their main stuff they're the way pharmacon kind of manages the product line is usually one compound compounds that are actually very very well put together they come in both multi-dose vials and ampules and it's just your very standard kind of dosing, very, very good, good products. And, you know, they do have some mixes. I don't want to uh, miss uh, lead people there thinking that they actually don't have some mixes. Like they make some stuff. They make some stuff where they mix different trembolones. Uh, they, they've got one specifically called Pharma Mix 3. And that one's got trembolone and natinate, nandrolone and decanoid, and testosterone and natinate in one shot. Uh, they've got a couple of these decent mixes, but Pharmacon, what really uh, makes them stand out in my book is very clean looking products that you are easily able to verify online and see if they're legit because some of these 
Some of these brands, at least the ones we've mentioned here today, Steve, are gotten so popular that some guys are faking them. Some guys are, are making fakes of underground lab brands. So figure that. And PharmaCon makes it real easy for you to check on their website, the batches, the batches, the testing, the packaging. Um, and again, not a lot of different mixes, not really, not all, you're not going to find some really weird, crazy compounds like methyl one test uh, uh, in the other lab that I discussed, it's going to be pretty much all of your standard compounds, some mixes, not many, but just very clean, very legit, very pharmaceutical looking products. I mean, like I said, these guys are even, are even doing ampules, uh, as an option to their multi-dose vials. So very, very good brand. It's gotten around pretty quickly and, uh, just want to, want to check out, I think. All right, guys. So next one is Balkan Pharmaceuticals. These guys have been a lot around a long time, about two decades. They've been around, and they're really popular. And I like their gear a lot. I think their gear is really, really good. I've I've really, really enjoyed their gear. I especially like their orals. So their orals, like the the Anavars, the Anadrol, the T Bowl, the Winstrol. The D bowl, really, really good orals, Rick, with Balkan. And then, of course, they also have the injectables. So, across the board, of all the main steroids, they have that. I would say it's a medium sized lab, but they, they really, really have gotten more and more popular as time has gone on. So, they're a really good one. And, you know, they actually um, are really popular over in Europe. I think Americans maybe in the past five years have really caught on to them. So they're basically registered in Ukraine. And uh, so East Europeans really, really are familiar with this brand. And, um, you know, they have basically uh, over, say, they say on their website, they have over 200 uh, employees, doctors, chemists, programmers, engineers, technologists, all these. And um, they're in Moldova, which is really, uh, Rick, I think that they're, Moldova is like the steroid capital of the world, uh, aside from China when it comes to making raws. But Moldova, it's, it's a big steroid nation. So this is where they're based. And a big part of that is Balkan. So these guys really, you know, they make, a, they make their living uh, producing these steroids and shipping them out all over the world to make sure that we, as athletes, as bodybuilders, all of us in fitness, we can strive to reach our fitness goals and our bodybuilding goals. So that's what they're really motivated by. So it's, it's kind of, um, it's really interesting, but you know, on this podcast, guys, we talk about stuff like this and you know, that's, that's anabolic steroids, you know, anabolic steroids help us. It's the whole thing, bigger, faster, stronger. That's what anabolic steroids do for us, you know? So these companies out there, they, they produce, they have labs just like pharmaceutical companies produce drugs and hormones and that are prescribed by doctors all over the world. Well, these companies do the same thing. They're they're pharmaceutical companies and they produce all these compounds and they wouldn't be around today if they weren't any good. They would not. They're, we know we have access to blood work. We have access to ways to test for steroids and mat, lab max and all this stuff. We can test these steroids and see if they're legitimate or not. And if they're not legitimate, these brands would not be elevated. We not we will not be talking about them. But we have enough anecdotal evidence, guys, to tell you these labs are the best labs out there. So give them a shot. You may like one lab because of this reason or that reason. But you know, overall, guys, these are the labs, and that's why we're talking about it. Anything else you want to add, Rick, before we finish up? We'll probably do some some more shows talking about other underground brands and and how these uh, products are made and bunch of other information i think uh if you're listening to the podcast today uh you're going to see a lot more underground not just usage info but a lot more underground info on sources on laboratories on 
compounds on a lot of that stuff. I think, I think it's something we haven't been doing a lot of Steve that a lot of guys want That's the kind of content that a lot of dudes out there want is they want to hear about the actual market buying your steroids, getting it legit stuff, good pricing, fast delivery, all of this stuff. And um, we're going to be talking about it way more on the next episodes as they come around, because that's uh, the kind of information you guys really, really want. I mean, look, if we, uh, if you, all you do is listen to the podcast and you never get your hands on any of this stuff, it's, it's all just theory. So uh podcast is way more fun when you can actually experiment with some of these compounds that we discuss on here. Right guys. So we'll definitely be talking a lot more about laboratories, purchasing sources, customs, payments, Bitcoin, you know, you name it on the ground where we're, we're going to go uh, deeper into the underground. So um, just to stick around for that, guys. All right, guys, this is the 384. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you guys next week with another episode. Take care. Have a good one, Steve. Have a good one, guys. the require legal disclaimer we are only sharing our experience from years of steroid use we are not doctors and none of what we say should be regarded as medical advice always check with your doctor before taking any drugs or starting any training program